the height of the battle, a trumpeter in the front line falls wounded. From the rear, Neville House of the New South Wales Army Medical Corps gallops forward under heavy fire, calmly picks up the wounded man and carries him to shelter. Neville House became the first Australian to win the Victoria Cross. His investiture here at Sydney's Victoria Barracks was attended by two other VC winners, men who'd won their medals half a century earlier during the Indian Mutiny. Alfred Heathcote, an Englishman for his actions during the siege of Delhi, and a Scot, John Patton, the hero of Lucknow. The scenes of horror on the relief of Lucknow, Patton would later write, I cannot even now dwell upon. Our joy turned us into hysterical women. This tradition is, of course, part of the mystique, part of the reason why the Victoria Cross is well, quite simply, unique. A near worthless piece of metal still cast from cannon captured during the 19th century, capable of changing hands for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Why? For the people of that period, it had a certain cachet because the Queen herself had named the medal after her and, and had named it as being the highest award you could get for gallantry. But it's then developed a life of its own, I think. The Victoria Cross is an outstanding motivator to other men. It's just the fact that there's one man amidst all this madness who hasn't lost it, who's just keeping himself calm and is doing what he's meant to do. I think in many ways we honour ourselves by awarding a medal like that because we're saying personal courage in the support of others is, a, is a, our greatest ideal. You can forget things about like, you know, fame or celebrity or fortune. It's a high ideal and that's the recognition of it. Of the more than 1,300 Victoria Crosses to have been awarded, 96 went to Australians, and recently the first Victoria Cross for Australia was added to the Victoria Cross story. 